Hello students, let us now study about determinants. So what is a determinant? Determinant is nothing but a real number associated with a square matrix. You have already studied matrices. So determinant is nothing but a real number associated with a square matrix. When we study determinants, it is important for a matrix to be a square matrix. So when we say determinants, we consider only square matrices. So determinant is a real number associated with a square matrix. So every square matrix has a determinant. Now how do we find out the determinant of square matrices? Let us see it for 2 cross 2 matrix and then for 3 cross 3 matrix. Before that, the notation used for determinant is we either write determinant A like this, DETA, where A is a square matrix, or two lines like this. Okay? Uh, we know that we call it modulus, but here you are not supposed to say modulus, you have to read it as determinant A. Okay? Two vertical lines to be read as determinant A or simply delta, a small triangle delta, we can use this notation as well. So let us see how to find the determinant of a 2 cross 2 matrix. Let me consider a general square matrix with the entries A11, A12, A21, A22. Okay, A11, A12, A21, A22. A11 because this is first row, first column, first row, second column, second row, first column, second row, second column. So, we have given the names as A11, A12, A21, A22. So, this is a matrix of order 2. Now, how to find out determinant is, we need to denote it like this. Determinant of A is equal to, multiply this number and this number, okay, like this. So, A11 into A22 minus, the middle sign should be minus, then this multiplication, the reverse one, A21 into A12. So, this will give you the determinant value. A11 into A22 minus A21 into A12. Let me consider an example. A is say 1, 2, 3, 4. When we write the determinant, we need to write two vertical lines like this. Okay, note the change. If you have a square bracket like this, then it is a matrix. If you have only two straight lines, then it is determinant. Okay, just two straight lines, it is determinant. Whereas a square bracket or a common bracket, it becomes a matrix. So, how to find out the value? 1 into 4 minus 3 into 2. So, 1 into 4 is 4 minus 3 twos are 6. So, 4 minus 6 is minus 2. So, the determinant value of this matrix is minus 2. Let me consider one more example. A is equal to 1, 3, minus 1, 2. So, the determinant of this matrix will be 1 into 2, that is 2, minus, minus 1 into 3, minus 1 into 3 is 
minus 3. So, this becomes 2 minus into minus plus 3. So, it becomes 5. So, whenever you have a minus sign, be careful. This will be minus. Then when you multiply this again a minus sign, so it becomes plus. So, the determinant of this matrix is plus 5. Let us solve some problems. First one, evaluate determinant x, y, y, x. So, carefully see here, these are two vertical lines which means you have to find out the determinant. So, what is the answer? x, y, y, x. So, if you solve x into x is x square minus y into y is y square. So, x square minus y square is the answer. Coming to the second question, evaluate determinant a plus b, a minus b, a, b. So, a plus b, a minus b, a, b. The determinant will be equal to a plus b into b minus a into a minus b. Let us simplify this further. a into b plus b into b is b square minus a into a is a square minus into minus plus a b. So, if you simplify this further, you have b square minus a square plus 2ab. So, this is the answer. Third question, solve for x. Under that, the first problem, x 7 7 x, the determinant of x 7 7 x is equal to 0. So, we need to find what is the value of x. So, determinant of this matrix, how to find out? x into x is x square minus 7 into 7 is 49 equal to 0. So, x square is equal to 49. So, x will be equal to square root of 49. So, x is equal to plus or minus 7. So, you need to write both plus or minus 7 or else you will lose one mark. So, x is equal to plus or minus 7. Coming to the second question, determinant of 2 minus x, x minus 2 equal to 0. We need to solve for x. So, 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 minus x into minus x is minus x square equal to 0. So, this becomes plus x square, take the 4 to the other side equals plus 4. So, x will be equal to root 4 that is nothing but plus or minus 2. Third question, determinant of 2x plus 1, 3, 2, 4 equals 0. So, multiply this 2x plus 1 into 4 minus 2 into 3 is 6 equals 0. So, multiply now 4 2 is a 8x plus 4 1s are 4 minus 6 equal to 0. So, 8x minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 equals 0. So, 8x equals 2. So, x is 2 by 8. 2 1s are 2 4s are. So, x will be equal to 1 by 4. So, the answer for x is 1 by 4. Fourth one. Determinant of 1x, x1 equals 0. So, 1 into 1 is 1 minus x into x is x square equals 0. So, x square equals 1. So, x is equal to root 1 that is nothing but plus or minus 1. So, the value of x is plus or minus 1. Next, let us see how to find out the determinant of a matrix of order 3 cross 3. Let me explain you this directly with an example. So, let me take up the first problem as determinant. Say 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 2. I have to expand this determinant. So, how to do it when it is a 3 cross 3 matrix? Okay. There is a sign convention which is to be used. So, it is plus minus plus. We will be expanding the determinant about the first row only. We will be 
expanding the determinant about the first row only. So the signs that you have to follow is plus, minus, plus. So first write plus 1. That is the first number plus 1. Now what you are supposed to do is delete the row and column in which this first element is present. That is the first row and first column you need to delete. So delete this, delete this. What will remain? Write that determinant. So 0, 2, 1, 2. Next, minus 2. Now delete the row and column in which 2 is present. It is present in the second column and the first row. So delete it. What will remain? 1, 2, 0, 2. So write that. 1, 2, 0, 2. Next, plus 3. And delete the row and column in which 3 is present. That is first row and third column. What will remain? 1, 0, 0, 1. So 1, 0, 0, 1. Now you know how to solve this determinant. This is a 2 cross 2 determinant. So you can find out easily. This is 1 into 0 into 2 is 0 minus 1 into 2 is 2. Minus 2 into 1 into 2 is 2 minus 0 into 2 is 0. Plus 3 into 1 into 1 is 1 minus 0. So simplify. Here you have minus 2. Here minus 4. And there it is plus 3. So it is minus 6 plus 3. The answer is minus 3. So the value of the determinant is minus 3. Let me consider another problem. Okay. So the signs that we use is plus minus plus. Now if you are getting confused, the best way to remember is write this number as it is, change the sign of this number and write this number as it is. Okay, as it is, change the sign as it is. So let us expand. This number you need to write as it is. Now delete the row and column in which it is present. What remains is 2, 4, minus 2, 5. Next, change the sign of this number but it is 0. So it doesn't make any difference. So delete the row and column in which it is present. So 1, 4, minus 3, 5. 1, 4, minus 3, 5. Next, as it is you have to write that is minus 1. So delete the row and column in which it is present. So 1, 2, minus 3, minus 2. Now expand 3 into 5 to the 10 minus minus 2 into 4 is minus 8. So minus into minus becomes plus. So this becomes plus 8. 0 into anything is 0. So simply write 0. Minus 1 into 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 minus minus 3 into 2 is minus 6. So this becomes plus 6. So you have 3 into 18. Then here you get 6 minus 2 is 4. So you get minus 4. So 3 into 18 is 54 minus 4. So the answer is 50. So the value of the determinant is 50. Let me consider one more problem. Third one. You have to expand the determinant. So plus minus plus. Okay. Plus minus plus. So as it is, change the sign as it is. So let us follow that. So write this number as it is. 1 into the determinant. So delete the row and column in which it is present. So 0, 3, 2, 0. Next, change the sign of this number. It is minus 1. So write plus 1. See, if you are using this, it becomes minus of minus 1. So that is plus 1. That's why I said you remember it as 
as it is, change the sign as it is. So there is no confusion. So this becomes plus 1 because it was minus 1, we change the sign to plus. Next, this num Next, you have to write the determinant, delete this, delete this, what remains? 1, 3, 1, 0. So 1, 3, 1, 0. Keep this 2 as it is, so plus 2. Delete the row and column containing 2, so what remains is 1, 0, 1, 2. Now simplify, 1 into 0 minus 2 3s are 6 plus 1 into 0 minus 3 plus 2 into 2 minus 0. Simplify further, you get minus 6, here minus 3 and here 4. So you have minus 9 plus 4 that is equal to minus 5. In these three problems, I told you we expanded the determinant about the first row. Okay, what are the signs that we used? We used plus, minus, plus. We can expand the determinant about any row or any column. And the sign convention is like this. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So these sign conventions to be used if you are expanding about any other row or column. You can expand about the second row also. If you are expanding about second row, you need to change the sign of the first number, keep the second number as it is, then change the sign of the third number. That is what you need to follow. But we will stick on to expanding the determinant about first row only to avoid confusion. So we will strictly follow the expansion about first row where we use the sign convention plus minus plus. That is as it is, change the sign as it is.